HDMI test instrument. The 780 handheld HDMI test instrument is a battery-powered portable multimedia pattern generator and analysis tool that enables you to conduct quick on-site verification testing of your HDMI system and analog video displays. The 780 is equipped with both an HDMI reference source and an HDMI reference sync interface, allowing you to test audio, video, and protocols HDCP, EDID, CEC, and InfoFrames on any type of HDMI device, sources, repeaters, and sinks. Its portability makes it ideal for your lab bench and for your use in the field. The 780's color touch display is easy and convenient to use. And because the 780 has both an HDMI output and an HDMI input, you can test your HDMI cables and systems with splitters, extenders, and switches as well. There are many applications for the 780 test instrument. Video Pattern Testing the 780 provides many video patterns for testing HDTVs, including a scrolling pattern for testing motion artifacts. You can import your own bitmaps as well. With the 780, you can test an HDTV's HDMI and component analog video inputs to ensure that they can render a test pattern properly. You can connect directly to an HDTV or you render an image on an HDTV through a repeater device such as an AV receiver. For testing 3D-equipped HDTVs, users select the 3D format structure and the HDMI 1.3 3D resolution timings through the 780 touchscreen display. The 780 outputs 3D bitmap patterns and also transmits the necessary 3D InfoFrame metadata in the HDMI vendor-specific InfoFrame. In this way, an HDTV's response to 3D metadata can be verified. Users can create their own 3D bitmaps from existing stereoscopic image pairs using Quantum Data's free 3D bitmap conversion tool. Audio Pattern Testing The 780 provides the necessary auto patterns to test your HDTV or audio receiver. You can transmit tones and noise patterns to calibrate and test the digital audio inputs, including HDMI, SPDIF, and optical interfaces. Testing HDCP of an HDTV The 780 can help identify and isolate HDCP interoperability problems in HDMI systems, especially when a repeater device such as an AV receiver is used. You can run an HDCP functional test on an HDMI HDTV either directly or through an AV receiver to verify that the HDTV can render HDCP protected video content the test shows you the status of the authentication on the color touchscreen display. Checking on HDTV's EDID. You can run a basic check on the EDID of an HDTV or the input port of a repeater device. This test helps you determine the basic capabilities of the HDTV and also identify header and checksum errors and determine whether the HDTV supports HDMI. You can read the results on the 780's display. Verifying CEC Devices The 780 enables you to check for CEC devices on an HDMI installation or lab system. The 780 presents the list of devices. Testing an HDMI source or repeater Because the 780 can emulate an HDMI sync device, you can run a confidence test of a source device including when the source is outputting video content that is protected by HDCP. You can view the AVI info frames. You can view the incoming video on the built-in LCD for verification purposes and to control menus on a DVD. And also check the timing from the source video and compare it to a known standard video timing format. For testing HDMI 3D capable source devices, the 780 parses the incoming 3D video and displays the left and right eye images on the 780's built-in monitor. The 3D InfoFrame metadata and timing data transmitted from the source device can be examined as well. Testing an HDMI source's response to an EDID. In some cases, you may want to test how a source responds to a known good EDID or a specific EDID.
The 780's HDMI RX port emulates an HDMI sync device. You can provision the 780's HDMI input port with an EDID from any display device and test how the source responds to this EDID. Check the HDMI audio from a source. For some audio related problems, the 780 helps you verify that the source is sending the correct format, number of channels, and sampling rate. The 780 displays the audio sample packets and the audio info frames on its display so that you can verify what the audio source is transmitting. HDMI cable or HDMI system test. Because the 780 has both an HDMI transmitter and receiver, you can test HDMI cables or HDMI networks with splitters, switches, and extenders using a pseudo random noise pattern. The test tells you how many pixel errors occurred. HDMI DDC monitoring. The 780 enables you to monitor the events and transactions during a connection sequence between HDMI devices. You can monitor the 5V and hot plug events, as well as the EDID and HDCP authentication transactions. Two options are supported. One, emulation monitoring, and two, passive monitoring. The emulation monitoring option enables you to use the 780 as a known good HDMI device and monitor the connection sequence events and transactions between it and another HDMI devices in the HDMI installation. For example, the 780 can emulate an HDMI source device, enabling you to monitor the 5V and hot plug events and the HDCP and EDID transactions between the 780 and the display device or repeater device connected to a display device, the upstream side of an HDMI system. Alternatively, the 780 can emulate an HDMI display device. The 780 enables you to monitor the events and transactions during a connection sequence between HDMI devices. You can monitor the 5V and hot plug events, as well as the EDID and HDCP authentication transactions. You can also use the 780 to emulate both an HDMI source and display device to monitor the events and transactions on both the upstream and downstream sides of a repeater device, such as an AV receiver. The passive monitoring option enables you to view the upstream and downstream connection sequence events and transactions of an existing HDMI installation comprised of multiple devices. For example, you can connect the 780 to an HDMI source, AV receiver, and display device and monitor the events and transactions between these devices passively. The passive monitoring option enables you to passively monitor on one side of an HDMI system and monitor while emulating a device on the other side. For example, you can use the 780 to emulate a known good HDMI source device and monitor the upstream events and transactions between the 780 and the input side of an AV receiver, passively monitoring the downstream events and transactions between the output of the AV receiver and the display device and monitor while emulating on the downstream side. Whether you are monitoring the emulation mode or the passive monitoring mode, the upstream and downstream events and transactions are integrated and interleaved within the 780 display window. You can select any transaction and view the details of the transaction. For example, you can select an HDCP read response of the BCAPS register and view its details. Once you've captured the transaction data, you can save the data file to your PC where it can be sent to other subject matter experts for analysis. The transaction file can be loaded into the Quantum Data Auxiliary Channel Analyzer application available on the Quantum Data website. The 780 Handheld HDMI Test Instrument is a feature-rich tool that combines portability and ease of use with low cost.